Welcome to the Village of Addison's 2017 Fall Festival. Uh, this year we have Crystal Marinelli, who is our first runner-up, Miss Addison, who's going to help me with this year's uh, um, costume parade. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm kind of looking forward to it, Crystal. Are, you're a student where now? I go to Elmhurst College. Elmhurst College, and she was our first runner-up in the Miss Addison pageant this year. Now we have three judges that are going to uh, judge in two categories and four different age groups. Let me introduce you to our Judges, and you are? Kayla Paz. Kayla, if you ever go into Uncle Harry's ice cream, Kayla is the one that's helping you select your favorite ice cream. <laughs> and then we have? Deanna from 601 Bar and Grill. So when you're looking for a great burger, burger night out, pulled pork is my favorite there, <laughs> visit 601. And then we have? Brawley Herrera from the Edison Fire Protection District. Okay, now let's get this costume contest going. Uh, the first age group we have are the little teeny tiny ones. Uh, the little teeny tiny ones from zero to three years old. So, uh, Crystal, will you please get the little kids, I'll get the little kids, and you get the next age yes. group, okay? Okay, very good. Okay, Izzy, follow Izzy all around in a big circle around here. Follow Izzy. Follow Izzy. Look at all the cute costumes and oh, look at how. Oh. The gecko. I know. You're the gecko. Oh my goodness. Come on, follow. There you go. There you go. Come on, we got a few more. We got a few more. I gotta have that hat on. Come on now. There we go. Okay. All right. Now let's line up over here and you can come on the other side of me okay you want to tell me what your name is what is your name Leilani. what's her name Layla. how old is Layla? show us on your fingers how old are you you're three and you are supergirl she's supergirl okay Layla, go over there and stand by our is he the unicorn stand right there and who do we have here? Come here. Okay. What's this little girl's name? What is it? Audrey. Can you show me how old you are, Audrey? How old are you? Two. Two. How cute. And you are a piggy? What? You're Peppa the Pig. You're the Pig? How cute. Okay. This way. Right, right over there. You can stand with him if you want. Okay. Oh, who do we have? Who do we have? Do we have a Barbie doll? Is that? Do we have a Mattel Barbie doll? What is the Barbie doll's name? What's your name? What's your name? Presley. 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 Pres. How old are you? Are you three? You make a beautiful Barbie doll. Thank you. Beautiful Barbie doll. She's got all the bling on. Look at this. Whoa. I think Presley had a little. Presley, Presley had a little brother for a while. Brother's over there sleeping. He's got a pumpkin hat on. Okay, put this over here. Okay, I got to move this over further. Move over this way a little bit. This way, this way, this way. Okay, I need your name, and I think, are you a gecko? What's your name? Uh, uh, JR. And how old are you? Uh, I'm three old. He's two, three. Oh, you're, th oh, oh, I see, he's three. Hold those fingers up again, we gotta see him. Hold those fingers. There, he's three, and you're the get-go, right? Yeah. Okay, get over here by the other, uh, by our unicorn over here. Okay, what do we have here? We have a duo. Who do we have? What is your name? Francisca. Francisca. Francisca, and what is your costume? It's beautiful. What is it, Lama Lama? Lama Lama. You're a Lama. Turn around. She's a Lama all the way around. Turn around. We got to see. See? Right down to the little tail in the back over here. She's a Lama. How old are you? Three. 
Curie. Curie? And who's this little guy? Well, Santiago. Santiago is also a llama, but he's a little llama. <laughs> and how old is Santiago? 11 months. 11 months, and he wants my microphone. You can't have that. Okay, can we go over here by the, by my unicorn? You're who? Randash. And what is your name? My, my name is Ariana. And how old is Mariana? Five. Five? You're the, she's in our next group. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's in our next group. But I think she yeah. came with... Castiel. What's his name? Jaciel. And how old? Mm, ten, 11 months. 11 months. Look at the... He's even got the coat. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> and it goes good. all the way around. Turn around. See the... Look at this. Tail and all, tail and all. Okay, get over there, and we're gonna see you at the next, the next Who do, oh, what do we have here? We gotta move, I keep moving over. This way, Who, what are you? You're, are you a dinosaur? Whoa, creepy dinosaur, what's your name? Mikey. Mike, and how old are you? Good. Three? Are you three? No, he can't. He can't show me his fingers. No, you're three, right? Three, there you go. Turn around, we gotta see the whole costume. Are you four, is he four already? No. Okay, that's what, turn around. Let me see the, we wanna see the whole costume. Look at this, oh, look at this, the big tail and all. Cool costume. Okay, will you go over there now? Thank you. Oh, uh, who do we, who do we have here? Um, oh, you got to turn around and let them face the camera, no, right? Luigi and Princess Peach. Oh, come no. here, Luigi. Right here. Oh, I, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, Dad. You're going to talk to them. All right. You want to hold the microphone? Say hi. And you know? how old are you? So two. two. He's two, and his name is. His name is Diego. Diego, and you're Luigi. I think I played that game. Okay. All right, Luigi doesn't like me so much. Go up. And who do we have? This is Dahlia. 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 How old is Dahlia? Two as well. They're twins. They're twins. They're twins. You're twins. How pretty. <laughs> They're two-year-old twins, and I love the shoes. Okay. Right. They, but they don't want to talk on television, so that's all right. Twins. Okay. Come here. Who do we have? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I need to know. What's your costume? Her name is uh, Marshall. What's your name? Marshall. And how old are you? Um, how, are you three? Yeah. Oh my goodness, and what's your, your costume is the Dalmatian on the fire truck. Are you going to visit the firehouse later on? Yeah. And be on a fire, a real fire truck? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Turn around, let's see the whole costume. Look at this. She's got, look at that. We got the back, that turn all the way around. Uh, look at that, the whole costume. The whole costume. And mom came doll dressed too. Ma Mom's the princess. <laughs> okay. All right, go over there by our unicorn. How old? Ah, oh, Spider-Man and company. Come here, come here, come here. You can come with them. All right, who do we have? What's Spider-Man's name? See, Spider-Man. What's Spider-Man's name? Joshua. Joshua, how old are you? How old are you? Are you three? Are you three? Joshua is Spider-Man, and he's got his pale Spider-Man little guy with him. And he dances. And he dances. Would you go over there by the... Oh, we got another costume coming up. Thank you, Joshua. Turn it around so we can see. You've got to turn it all the way around. There we go. There you go. This is quite the costume. And I don't think this little lady can tell us her name. No. Her me. name's Delilah. And Delilah, how old is Delilah? She is six months. Six months? Oh. Uh -oh. You don't flip your crown, Delilah. <laughs> it's good to be queen. Yes. <laughs> that is beautiful. Just beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, do we have anybody else here under three? I saw her. Okay. Get over here. Okay. You come here. 
We've got somebody that's very, very shy, and then we got to get our judges in front. What's your name? I say Logan. Logan? Yes. How old are you? I say one and a half. Are you one and a half? This is cool. That is real cool. And I see costume underneath there, but yeah. it's really cold out. Okay, Logan, thank you. Say but thank you gotta you. get over there. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, we got one more. Come here. We got one more. You're in the next group, all right? Because you don't look three years old. Are you three? No, uh, you think so. But this one, and, and what do we have here? This is Lucille. Uh, she's a unicorn. She's a unicorn, but you know what? You she can re look at the unicorn, and she doesn't like it covering her first. <laughs> How old is Lucille? But Ten she months. Ten months, and she wants my microphone yeah, already. That's because you guys share the same name. A and we, it's a good <laughs> name, Lucille. It's a very good name. Yes. Yes. Did you see that face? Look at that face. That's the real unicorn face. Okay. Thank On you. this side. Okay. All right, judges. We need to know who the funniest is. Who am I going to ask? Who's the funniest? The Fun funniest? We thought the chocolate chip baby. Chocolate the chip princess. Chocolate chip. Okay, where's the chocolate chip princess? You just, you have, you have been decided to be the funniest. The chocolate chip princess. Hooray! The chocolate chip princess. All right, let me go get your trophy just a minute. Excuse me, this is the funniest side. You can present the, the that's to the, the funniest is our chocolate princess. And again, what is her name? Delilah. Delilah. You won your first trophy. Congratulations. Okay, now the next one, judges, drum roll. Okay. Most creative. Most creative. Goes to Barbie. The Barbie! Hooray! Well, now let's get, let's get Barbie over here. And in here. She, and I'll get the... Um, and you can present the most creative to Barbie. And she's... Not quite three, and she already gets a trophy. There you go. Congratulations. We're good for the next age group. Now, I want to know what your costume is, and what is your costume? It's Windash, because I love Windash and Twelve Sparkle. And what is your name? Because I don't know. And how old are you? Five. Five. What school do you go to? Uh, Miss Amaro class. Very nice. Well, beautiful. Turn around so we see your whole costume. Look at that. Turn all the way around. Turn all the way, all the way around. Turn, 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 turn. See? Look it. Okay, now you can go stand behind my unicorn over here. See my unicorn? Make a nice straight line behind the unicorn. Behind my unicorn. We got... A fireman dog. Come here. You're a Dalmatian. You're the fireman's dog, right? What's your name? Six. And how old are you? Six. You're six? What school do you go to? Stone. Very nice. But we gotta turn around, we gotta see the whole costume, so you gotta turn all the way around. See? Look at whole costume. Look at that. Very good. Okay, will you go stand behind my unicorn now? Thank you. And you are, tell me what your costume is first. An uh, angel. You're, are you really an angel? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. And what is the angel's name? Um, what's your name? Sandra. Sandra, how old are you? Six. You're six. What school do you go to? Lake Park. Lake Park. That's where my kids went to grade school. Lake Park School. Turn around so we can see the whole costume. Oh, look at this. Look at those beautiful wings. And now will you go stand behind the uh, unicorn? Behind. We got to stand behind to make a nice straight line so the judges can see you all. Nice straight line. Oh, that's a pretty costume, but I don't think that's part of it, is it? Can I hold that for you? Okay, come over here. Come over here. I need to know, first of all, what are you? I'm a Barbie superhero. And what's your name? Jasmine. And how old are you, Jasmine? Six. You're six? What school do you go to? Lincoln School. 
And can we see you turn around so we can see the whole costume? Look at that, beautiful. Thank you very much, Jasmine. Okay, go behind the uh, line up in line. There you go. Oh, is that a cool costume? You gotta tell us what you are. First of all, tell me what you are. Um, I'm a master chief. Obviously you are. Okay, turn around and face the camera. Tell us what you, who, what's your name? Mannix. And how old are you? Six. And what school do you go to? Forest View. Forest View. This is a, quite a costume. And it looks like it's warm, too, so it's perfect for the weather outside, right? Okay, put the mask down and go line up behind the unicorn. Straight line. Oh, this is cool. Okay, tell our audience, what is your costume? A minion. A minion, we know that. Now, what's the minion's name? What's your name? Probably Stewart. And you're how old? Five. You're five? What school do you go to? Kindergarten. And what, do you know what school? Kindergarten. Kindergarten. Well, he is a terrific minion. This is quite a costume. Knock, knock, knock. Okay, very cool. Go behind, back over here. You are, oh, we gotta do this differently. You're thing number two. We gotta do one and two, there we go. You're thing number one, right? What's thing number one's name? What's your name? Hoppo. And how old are you? Five. You're five? You go to school? What school do you go to? Kindergarten. Wonderful. And you're thing number two, right? Yes. And what is your name? Basically. And how old are you? Four. Four. Can you, can you, thing number one and two, please do a nice turn so we can see you really nice and look right at the camera. Turn around, turn around so we see the whole costume. Turn, 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 turn. Turn, turn around. Keep turning, keep turning. There you go. Thank you, thing number one and thing number two. Who do we have? Is this a McDonald's strawberry shake? Is that what you are? Boy, I want a strawberry shake. And this is the straw? Can I suck on the straw? Oh! And what is your name, strawberry shake? Avery. And how old are you? Four. Four. Do you go to school? Not, you do? Are you in college yet? No. Are you in preschool? You in preschool? No? Want to tell us what you go to school? That's right, you make a good strawberry shake. Thank you very much. Now will you line up? I can't I can't have a sip of the straw, huh? No? No. Okay. She's got all the princies. Go ahead and line up over here. Over there by crystal. Aloha! And we have a Hawaiian girl here, right? Look at, right at the camera. What's the Hawaiian girl's name? What's um, Moana. And how old are you? Four? Now wait, what's your real name? Mona's I'm Allison. You're Allison. You're four. Do you go to school yet? Um, yes. You do? Where do you go to school? Because, um... Because you just want to, right? Very good, Mo what's it, Moana? Is that my saying that right? Am I saying that right? Thank you, Allison. Go line up, line up here, get your prize and go line up. Super Mario! Super Mario, right? Right? Come here, you gotta face the camera, come here. Where's the jam. Turn around, face the camera. Okay, now you gotta give us your name, Super Mario. Santiago. And how old are you? Five. Five. You go to school? What school? Stone school. You go to stone school? Well, wonderful, Super Mario. Look at the big M and everything. Okay, Super Mario, go get your prize and go get in line. What do we have here? Look at that. Look at that. We have we have Batgirl? We have Batgirl. What's Batgirl's name? What do you what's your Emma. name? Emma. What Emma? Mm -hmm. How old is Emma? Five. Five. Do you go to school? Mm -hmm. What school? Um. That's all right, it doesn't matter. You're in kindergarten, right? Look at the camera. 
and then turn around so we can see the whole costume. Turn around, turn, 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 turn. Beautiful. Keep turning. Now go over there and get your prize. And what are you? Wolverine. Oh, and what's your name? Zeke. And how old are you? Four. Four? Turn around, we've got to see the whole costume. We've got to see everybody's whole costume. Turn, 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 turn. Very good. You go to school yet? Are you in college? Preschool. Oh, you're in preschool. Okay. Go get your prize and go get in line. Gee, oh, are you, what is your costume? Tell us. Wolverine. And what's your name? Come here closer to me. Jelani. What's your real name? Jelani. And how old are you? Six. You're six? What school do you go to? To Lake Park. You go to Lake... I said that before. All my kids went to Lake Park School. It's a pretty good school. I love this. Easier to eat salad with, right? Or better yet, spaghetti? No? Okay. Get your prize and I'll get mine. Just poop it out. Hey, super fellow. Oh. Put your butt. And what's your name? Um, Alex. And how old are you? Um, what's your feet? He's three. Look at this costume. Turn around. We gotta see. We gotta see your cape and everything. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Well, and how? And and are you gonna go trick or treating for Halloween? Yeah. He's not shy at all. We can tell that. Go get your prize and get in line. Luigi. How are you? Turn around, face the camera. What's your real name? Jaden. And how old are you? Five. And what school do you go to? Stone. Stone School, and you're in kindergarten? Cool. We got one more here. Okay. He does his thing. Okay. Mm, and what's his costume? Say, I'm Emmett. Oh, I should see that's Emmett. Oh, Lego. Oh, Lego from Lego guy. And what's his name? Eric. And how old? He's four years old. Four. Turn, Addison Early Learning We Center. want to see your face. Turn around. Let him. There you go. Say hello to the camera. Eric, say cheers. Say hello to the camera. Say hi. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Where are our judges? Okay. Do we have a decision yet? Our judges have a decision already. Okay. What do we have? The funniest is first. Funniest would be the minion. The minion, where's our minion? That's the funniest. Mr. Minion, hold my hand. You just won the contest. You're the funniest costume. Hooray! Congratulations. That really is a cool costume. Wave to the camera. There you go. Thank you, Minion. Thank you. Now, we got the next one is? The most creative goes to the McDonald's strawberry milkshake. Where's our strawberry milkshake? Where's our, her, clap for, the strawberry milkshake is the most creative. Come here, you just won the contest. You're the most creative costume. You're the most creative, look. Come over here, Come, right over here, he's gonna give you, he's gonna give you your trophy, that's your trophy. Go closer, I'm coming with you. Okay? Give this to mommy. Now, turn around and face the camera. We want to see your cons there. See, say, hooray. And she's got all the little fizzies for her hair too. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, where's our next age group? All right, I think I know what you are, but tell us. I'm a pirate. No kidding, I could tell that. And what is your name? Tristan. And how old are you? Seven. Do you go to school? What school do you go to? Stone, Stone go Elementary. Stone Elementary School, very good. Now, turn around, we gotta see everybody's whole costume. He's complete, all the way around. Okay, would you please step over here, get your prize, and then on the line over here. I know what you are, you're Mario. Super Mario, right? And turn around and face the camera. And what is your name? Chase. And how old are you? Seven. Seven. What school do you go to? Stone Elementary. What el which one? Stone Elementary. You're another Stone Elementary. Stone is very popular here today. Okay, turn around. Got to see the whole Mario costume. Try to keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, now go get your prize and get in line. Oh, you're creepy looking. All right, creepy looking guy. Face the camera so they can see what you are. 
tell us what you are first. Dr. Sambi. Now, could I raise your mask so we can see your face? And tell us your real name. Ooh, Carlos. that's so creepy. What's your real name? Carlos. And how old are you? How old are you? Um, seven, six, six. What school do you go to? In Lincoln School. Lincoln School. Okay, you can put your mask down now. And creepy guy. Looks like a zombie to me. Oh, this is cool. But you gotta turn around and face the camera so we can see you. Yeah, stay right there. Now, I think you're supposed to be a dragon. Are you a dragon? I'm a T-Rex. You're a T-Rex. Oh, I didn't know. I don't know my, my monsters as well as I should. How is that phone? Is this phone? Mm -hmm. This is real. This is a microphone. Now I need to know in the microphone, what's your name? Tony. And what's Tony's age? How old are you? Seven. And where do you go to school? Um, Mrs. Stearns. And could I ask you to turn around? I'll help you turn around because you got to see the whole back of this costume. We got to see it all. Turn around. Here, look at that. Look at that. Keep going. Keep going. He is really a T Rex. You're really a T Rex. Thank you. Can you get over here with your prize and then stay in line? Thank you. That's quite a costume. Ew, you're creepy. Are you Count Dracula? No. Who are you? Vampire. What? Vampire. And what's your real name? Nah. Nah. Look louder so we can hear you. Nah. And how old are you? Eight. Eight? What school do you go to? Stone. You go to Stone School too? All right, now wait a minute. You gotta hold up your hand so we can see the whole cape and turn around. Turn around, hold it. Creepy. Ooh, thank you. Over there, get your prize. Whoa, that's quite a costume. That is quite a costume. Now, face the camera and tell us what is your costume? Sure, Skull. And what is your name? Brittany. And Brittany, how old are you? Seven. Seven, what school do you go to? Fullerton School. Fullerton School, this is beautiful. Did somebody make this costume for you? No. No, it's beautiful. Turn around, we gotta see the whole you. Look at that. That's right down to the slippers and look at that, right down to the slippers. Very, very nice, thank you. Now go get your prize and get in line. Oh, oh, I know who you are, are you Wendy? Okay, tell, tell the camera. I'm Wednesday Adam. And your real name? Johanna Holder. And how old are you? Nine. And what school do you go to? Lake Park Elementary. Lake Park Elementary. We actually need you here in the graveyard. Mm -hmm. right in the, oh, that is cool. But now, turn around, put your hands on so we see. Look at this, even right to the back of the costume. Very, very nice. Very yeah. nice. That's not your real hair, I don't think, huh? Yeah. I didn't think so, but it's very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, good line, Wednesday. And you're, you, tell us what your costume is. Well, my Flintstone. You're Wilma Flintstone. Look at the camera so the camera can see your pretty face. And what's your pretty face's real name? Jalissa. And how old are you? Nine. And where do you go to school? Science Side Elementary. Very nice. We gotta have everybody turn around. Turn around. Turn around, Wilma. <laughs> Thank you, Wilma. Now go get your prize. Okay. Hello. Hello. That's kind of creepy looking. You're all painted up here. Tell us what your costume is. A cheetah. And turn around, face the car, camera. And what's your real name? Hey, Ruth. And how old are you? Six. And what school do you go to? Army Trail. Army Trail. Very good. Well, we don't need you to really turn around because your all your costume is right in front. Look at that. Even right down to the creepy looking gloves. Creepy looking gloves. Another creepy face. Oh my goodness. Turn around, face the camera. What are you supposed to be? A clown. A cl and what's your real name? Anthony. Anthony, how old are you? Eight. Eight. And what school do you go to? Um, Elgin, Illinois. Illinois. Very nice. It's a creepy clown. That's creepy. Thank you. And I like this because it's painted on. Did somebody help you paint that on? Yeah. That's really cool. Okay, go get your prize.
another painted face. I love these painted faces. Look straight into the camera. And you are No, I'm of a vampire. You're, oh, he's a vampire dressed in everyday clothes, so you can really, you can really bite somebody's neck, right? Oh. What's your real name? Luis. And Luis, how old are you? Eight. And what school do you go to? Army Trail. Army Trail. Well, thank you. You're creepy looking. I like that. Don't look so serious. You look serious. That is cool. What is, is that a... It's a diamond soy and a diamond pickaxe. Oh, is that cool? Okay, and tell us what you're supposed to be. A diamond normal guy, a Minecraft one. Wow, this is real. And what is your name? Abel. And Abel, how old are you? Seven. And what school do you go to? Lincoln Elementary. Lincoln Elementary. Turn around, and then I want to see your sword again. Turn around, we want to see. Look at this. The whole complete look at that. And it. it and it just collapses down, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. Very, very cool. Well, thank you. Be careful and don't get your prize. You're too cute to be a deer. You're too cute and too sweet. Now, turn around, face the camera. Tell us what your costume is. Um, it's a deer. I thought so. And it's a pretty deer. Look, she's got flowers in her hair and everything. What is your name? Diana. Diana, how old are you? Seven. What school do you go to? Lake Park. Lake Park School? Can you turn around and we got to see everybody's whole costume. Look at this. She's beautiful costume. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, All right, now you can take flip up the mask. Tell us your your name. Gabriel. And how old are you? 7. 7. And what school do you go to? Lake Park. Lake Park? Yeah. You are right directly to the point. He answers the questions right as I answer them. Are you having a good time today? Yeah. Good. Now go yeah. get your prize and get in line. Okay. okay. Thank you. I know who you are. Are you? Oh, oh, tell us what you are. Fred Cougar. Smile and show the camera your teeth. Look at that. He's been shot in the face. Look at that. My goodness. What's your name? Logan. And how old is Logan? Eight. How, and what school do you go to? Heritage Lakes. Very cool. Look at that. Okay, thank you. Oh, another creepy guy. I would, tell us what you're supposed to be. I'm Jason. Can, oh, Jason, the creepy Halloween guy. Can yeah. I pick up your mask so we can see okay. your real There, now tell us your real name, Jason. Uh, my, name is, my real name is Nathan. And what, how old are you? Nine. Nine, what school do you go to? I'm not in any school around here. I'm with him. You're, oh, you're homeschool. No, I'm not homeschool. I'm not, oh, I'm not. just with my dad and he's with his Oh, girlfriend. cool, Yeah. very I'm, cool. You know what? He's really fully equipped. He's fully equipped. Can we put this down over you again? I'll go get your prize and don't scare too many people. Oh, I know what you are, let's see. You're a police officer. Are you one of the Addison's finest police officers? Turn around, face the camera. Tell us your name. Jaden. And how old are you? Five. Five. And what school do you go to? Blackhawk Elementary School. Black. Oh, glad to see Blackhawk here. And you are, you are definitely a good cop. Definitely a good cop. Radio and all. Look at this. He's fully equipped. You don't have to do it. He's fully equipped. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, this is cute. Now we get to the cute ones again. I got all the creepy guys over here. Turn around and face the camera. Tell us what your costume is. Pegasus. Pegasus. And tell us Pegasus' name. What's your name? Anna. And how old are you? Six. And what school do you go to? Ardmore. Ardmore. Turn around because Pegasus is really a beautiful costume. Turn around. We want to see... All of the God, turn around. We want to see the back of it. Turn around. Keep turning. Look at that. Look at and she's got fluffy wings and everything and wig. Beautiful. Keep turning. Keep turning. Well, thank. Keep turning. Well, thank you very much. Now go get your prize. Page. Look at that. Can we just show your face on camera? And we got two parents here. <laughs> 
They're both with you. Look at that. We don't have to talk about, you got to face the camera and we want to know who you all are. She doesn't want to talk to me, no. but what's her name? Her name's Lily. Lily, thank you for being here today. How old is Lily? Three. Three? I won't ask you how old you are. And you are? Mom, Sarah. Dad, Ed. <laughs> This is cool. Thank, thank that you is very cool. It's <laughs> nice and warm, and it looks like you're having fun too. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She should go get the prize over here. Okay. Come on. Are you Stay Puff Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters? Mm -hmm. This is really a cool costume. I can push this. What's your real name? Gabriel. Gabriel, how old are you? Five. And what school do you go to? Philip Fullerton. Fullerton, I'm going to take this off for a minute so we can see your face. See, that's Gabriel, the marshmallow man from Ghostbusters. That is really cool. Thank you. Okay. Can you melt? Can you melt? How do you melt? Oh, he's melting. Melt again for us. Melt. Oh. <laughs> I could never melt that low down anymore. <laughs> okay, thank you, Gabriel. Okay, okay, let's give them all a round of applause. Thank you, Okay, judges, this is not easy, judges. Not easy. Oh. This is the funniest? So the funniest costume goes to T-Rex. Where's T-Rex? T-Rex is our funniest. Congratulations! You're the funniest costume. You already won a trophy. Thank you. Say thank you to the camera. There you go. Okay, be careful. Okay, now we have the most creative. Yeah, most creative is the Pegasus. Pegasus. Pegasus, where are you? You're the most creative. Come here, Pegasus. Come here, Pegasus. All the way up. Is this Pegasus' dad and mom? I told you, this is a family affair. Come on. Come here, Pegasus. Right here so the camera can see you. Right there. Now, turn around. And you went to what school again? Ardmore. Ardmore School. This is our Pegasus. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. OK. Ladies and gentlemen, we have one more group. This is definitely, definitely a different costume. Is that really an umbrella? Yes. It, yes. Is there a way I can get under here? I want to talk to you. No, I can't talk to you. Can you but you're going to have to talk really. <laughs> I know. Wait a minute. We want his name. See the microphone? Ryan. And how old are you? 10. And what school do you go to? Jackson. Jackson. That is a beautiful costume. I want you to turn around. Crystal is going to help you turn. Turn around because it's not just one-sided. This is a full costume. Is that cool or what? Yeah. <laughs> I know it's cool. Thank you. And if you can see, he's even flashing out in front. Are you a guy from outer space? Yes. Yeah. Obviously. Wait a minute. we got to get this microphone on. Probably from the classics. Got that. Good. Okay. Crystal, will you help him move over this way? All right. Very good. Now, who is this young lady? Uh, Red Riding Hood. You're Red Riding? Well, no kidding. I didn't notice that. Gee, surprise, surprise. Turn around. Let's see the whole costume. You were on your way to Grandma's house with the basket, right? Yeah, but I got attacked. Oh, uh, <laughs> she got, you got attacked by who? By the big bad wolf. Oh my goodness, didn't anybody tell you not to walk through the woods by yourself? I just didn't listen to my mom. I thought she, I thought she was joking around. You see, you're all supposed to listen to your mom all the time. <laughs> the wolf also took out my, he my took, eyeball. He took everything, but he didn't take the last eyeball. She's got one eyeball left in the basket. And what is Little Red Riding Hood's name? Uh, I have no clue. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, my name is, I don't know. Oh, you got a name. Come on, we know you got a uh, name. Uh, Jasmine. And Jasmine, how old are you? Like 11. And where do you go to school, Jasmine? Indian Trail. Indian Trail. 
Well, next time, listen to your mom and don't go walking through the woods. Otherwise, you get scratched. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, here's the money given. Very nice. Okay. This was my unicorn. I had her helping me line the kids up the whole time. But you have a real name. Izzy. And Izzy, how old are you? I'm 10. And where do you go to school? I go to Westview Elementary School. You do? Well, I thank you very much for being here, and I thank you for helping me line up the kids before. So thank you very much, Izzy. You're welcome. And I thought this was a pie or something, but it looks like brains. Is, it, is that what this is? Brain. Yeah, obviously. Show the camera what it is. Ew, it is really... Oh, doesn't even smell good. Wait, we got to tip this down to show the camera. Can you see that? That is cool. All right, you tell us what you're supposed to be besides a guy who's eating brains. Zombie butler. A zombie butler? What's the zombie butler's real name? Daniel. Daniel? How old are you, Daniel? Twelve. And where do you go to school? Indian Trail. Indian Trail. I know it's pretty hard. Any, is this a rat next to this? He's got a rat, he's got brains, and he's eating a piece of the brains while I'm talking to him. Would you like some? No, thank you. I don't think I like some, but thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Daniel. Okay, <laughs> that's cool. Okay, you are, uh, yes. you're a pumpkin? No. <laughs> are you what? Uh, Fred Flintstone. Your friend? Oh, now I see that. Yeah. We have a Wilma over here. That's my sister. Is, is she, I was going to say, is Wilma related to you? Okay, Fred Flintstone, what's your real name? Armando. And Armando, how old are you? Uh, 15. And you go to, you go to Aston Trail? Huh? What, what school do you go to? Uh, Proviso Math and Science Academy. Very good, okay. Turn around, let's see the whole costume. Fred Flintstone. I don't think Fred Flintstone, the real guy, could have gotten into the math academy. But <laughs> congratulations, Thank Armando. You. And nice to see you here. I think we have a cat. Is this a cat? Yes. Is this, is this, and what is the cat's name? And can I lift your mask up so we can see your face? Yeah. Um, oh, it's much nicer looking it's, than the cat. Turn around, look at the camera. It's Grumpy Cat. Are you? Yeah, you're Grumpy Cat. But what's your real name? Aiden. And, and what's Aiden's age? 10. And what school do you go to? Heritage Lakes. That is cool. Look at that. A grumpy cat. I think I have one of those that lives in my house. <laughs> well, thank you very much. OK. And I want to know what your costume is. What is your costume? Oh, uh, I'm Queen. And what is your name? Johnny Biondo. And how old are you? Four. Four. This is cool. Why, thank you very much. Thank okay, you. Good job. Oh, he wants to show us the, the what? 95. Is There's 95. There does it go. Oh, turn around. We got to see his his race car. Is He's number 95. Where can we see this? Right there. There it is. Cool. All right. Cool. Say okay, fun. judges. Judges, are you ready? So for the funniest costume, it's going to go to the cat here. The cat? The grumpy cat? Hooray! That's the funniest. Hooray, hooray, hooray! Thank you, grumpy. Okay. Now, what else do we have here? We have the, the most, creative. most creative. That goes to the UFO. The UFO is the most creative. Whoa. Where do we... <laughs> you got to get under the UFO to hand it to him. Congratulations. Very good. Well, I will say this is... Now, she wouldn't talk to me, but she was going to talk to the UFO. I don't know. We can see, we can see her. Come here. Whoa. We have one little kid that we didn't get to see. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Part of her costume is missing right now. But she was Minnie Mouse and you were Mommy Mouse. Yes. Well, yes. Oh, I remember Emma. Emma was all dressed up. I remember Emma. Okay. Well, thank you all for joining me. This was a wonderful costume contest this year. Crystal, did you have a good time? Crystal is our first runner-up, Miss Addison, this year. Did you have a good time? Yeah, I did. I actually really enjoyed like seeing all the creative costumes and seeing how excited they all were. And I think it's a really nice way to kick off Halloween.
it, it really is. It's a fun way, and uh, we're glad to have you here helping thank me today. Thank you so much. So, thank you all. Now, turn around, and if you look up, we welcome everybody to come in. This will be up for probably at least another week. Uh, we have the spider overlooking the graveyard. So come in and visit the Village Hall and take a look at our creepy decorations here. And out in front, in front of the fountain, we have some more pumpkins. So please come visit the Village of Addison and all its creepy costumes and, and uh, creatures. Next, we're going to have our pumpkin carving contest winners. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you got to tell me what your costume is. That's creepy. I just made it up. You just made it up. Well, that's a very creepy guy. Now, could I lift your mask and you'll tell us who you really are? Hey, uh, hello, how are you? What's your real name? Anthony. Anthony, how old are you? Nine. And where do you go to school? Stone School. You go to Stone School. That is a creepy costume, but I want you to turn around, put the mask down, and I want you to turn around so we see the whole thing. Look at this, very creepy, X and all, look at that. That is very cool. Okay, Anthony, would you go over there so then I can see the rest of them? Don't fall. That is a beautiful costume. Thank you. And what is your name? Xavier. Xavier, and are you supposed to be a pirate? Captain Hook. Captain, oh, you're Captain Hook with the one hand guy, huh? Wow, but I want to, this is a beautiful costume. Turn around, turn around. Look at that, the whole costume and a leather hat and everything. That's wonderful. You're, how old are you? Um, nine. And what school do you go to? Stone School. This is really a beautiful costume. Did you buy this or did somebody make this for you? Uh, we bought it. You bought it? Well, it's really a beautiful costume. I hope you don't grow out of it, but then again, you never know. Hope you grow tall, too tall for it, right? Okay, thank you, thank you. <gasps> Who do we have here? Do we have Robin Hood or Peter Pan? No. Oh, I should have known that. Come here, Peter Pan. Peter Pan, what is your name? Alexander. And how old is Alexander? Five. And do you go to school, Alexander? I go to Stone School. Whoa, how nice. This is another, look at this costume, the boots. Did, did Peter Pan have a sword too? And and what did he do? Was didn't his nose grow? Was it no? That was Pinocchio. Did Peter Pan fly around? He did, huh? He did. He always wanted to be a kid and fly around, right? Oh, that was cool. And he had some friends, Wendy, and some of the other friends. That was it. Was a fun, fun guy. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, could you step aside so I can see this beautiful angel? Thank you. Thank you. Now, who's our little beautiful... What, what is your costume? Tinkerbell. You belong with him. You're one of his friends, right? Tinkerbell flew around with... Um, didn't Tinkerbell hang around with Peter Pan and Wendy? And they're... Right? And how old are you? I'm three. And what is your name? Um, Ainana. Wonderful. Do you go to school yet? You do. Where do you go to school? Mm, um, at school. Turn around and face the camera so they can see you. But now you've got to turn around. Look at that. Look at that. Turn around a little bit more. Little more. Look at that. Aren't these not beautiful costumes? Thank you. Now, go over there by Peter Pan. All right. Are you Catwoman? All right, tell the camera what your name is, Catwoman. My name is Isabel. Isabel, how old is Isabel? Nine. Nine, what school do you go to? Acero Esmeralda. Wonderful, this is, she looks like Catwoman, look at this, and she's got the gorgeous hair to go with it. <laughs> well, thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Okay, all right, are you Batman? Yeah. What, all right, tell the camera, what are you, Batman? Yeah. And what's Batman's name? What's your real name? Ikosai. How old are you? Ki. Ku, that is cute. Very nice costume. Now go over by the lady with the cauldron. She'll give you a prize. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. <gasps> and what is your what is your costume with the purple hair? E Mao. And what's your name? Sophia. Sophia? How old is Sophia? Five. 
five. Do you go to school, Sophia? Yeah. Where do you go to school? Uh, um. Do we know what school Sophia goes to? She's ITS because she's been Oh, it's okay, but turn around. We got to see this purple hair. Look at her. She's even got purple hair. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Next. And then our little cat will be. Okay. What is your costume? Tell us what your costume is, please. Lena of Avalor. And what's your name? Eliana. Elena, how old are you? Uh, five. And do you go to school, Elena? What school do you go to? Mm, kindergarten. You're in kindergarten. Look at this. She's all in costume. Look at the beautiful earrings and everything. Turn around so we see the whole costume, Elena. Beautiful. Thank you. Now we have one more, but you got to crawl closer to me. I think mom's the cat. And what do we have here? What's his costume? It's a kitty cat. It's a kitty cat, a mommy cat, and a kitten. And what's our kitten's name? Michaela. Michaela, and how old? One. One? And she always wants, she already wants my uh, microphone. Look at this, she already wants my microphone. Michaela, can you turn around for us? Can you turn around, we want, yeah, look at this. She's an actress at one. Thank you, what's mom's name? Crystal. Thank you very much. Thank you all very much. Okay, welcome to the Addison Fall Festival, and I am standing here with Susan English, our Historical Museum Coordinator. Susan, can you tell us a little bit about what we'll see today at the Historical Museum? Well, we have a group called the 8th Regiment Reserve Corps, and they are uh, doing living history of the Civil War era. So you'll be meeting people, recreating people from the Civil War era. Uh, that includes uh, music from the Civil War era, a dressmaker from the Civil War era, mm -hmm. uh, a surgeon mm -hmm. from the Civil War era, uh, a cooper, I think I, you may have seen already, um, he, who does woodworking, nice. um, and some um, enlisted men and officers uh, from Civil War uh, regiment. Beautiful, beautiful. And uh, what is just inside the door here? Uh, inside the door here, we have the ladies inside the Century House. So we have a lady from the Civil War era. She's playing, I believe, um, the dulcimer today. Beautiful. Well, let's take a walk inside and, and see what you got inside, and then we'll go outside. Okay, sounds good. Okay. <laughs> Psaltery, as well as a dulcimer. Uh, they actually um, are all the way back from King David's time in the Bible. So, so this is Rally Around the Flag. away and you can no longer hear them. So this is uh, the Battle Cry of Freedom.
Is your bow in that made out of zebra wood? Uh, you, you don't yes. know. Yes? It looks like from it, Africa. anyways. Yes, it is from Africa. Yeah. Yes. Oh, very nice. Uh, it was uh, made by the brother who made this. So David made this. He's, this says David's dulcimer. I'm playing the part of my five time great grandmother, Nancy David. Really? Yes. <laughs> How cool. Nancy David had um, a son. So this is Roswell right here. And he was injured in Tennessee. And so, actually, I can turn the list so you can see it better. There's Roswell. So after, um, before the war even ended, he had to go home. He was disabled. And he came home to his wife, Caroline. And, um, and then I had a daughter. I had mainly daughters, so I have grandsons named of Price, Travis, Miller. So they were all in the Civil War, even though they were some of them were 14, some were 16, but they went in the war anyway and said they were 18-year-olds. So if you look in the military records, you'll see their age is one thing, but on their tombstone and in the census, you'll see it's not that way. So anyway, um, this is Roswell and Nancy's um, per, um, Cornelia. And she married um, Elias, and these two sons were actually in the Civil War. Now, John um, David Price, they used the David name because that was her last name before. John David Price was in, um, captured by the Confederates, and this family lived in Finley, Ohio. And he was taken to Libby um, Prison. And in Libby Prison, um, he ended up with tuberculosis because of the bad conditions. You know, it was crowded. Um, when one person was sick, it, it went all over the whole prison, and uh, lots of people were dying. But he, he actually lived to the end of the war, and he came home. But he died four years later and was not counted among all the, the dead of the war. So there's a lot more dead than that 265,000, or I'm not even sure how many, but it, it's, it, it was a lot more than that. So um, his younger brother, David, decided he was going to go into um, military, and he wanted to fight just to help get his brother out sooner. And so he went to the recruiting officer, and somebody stopped him and said, um, you're how old? And he goes, 14? Well, if you say you're 14 to the recruiter, they're going to send you home. Go home to your mommy. So um, this is what you do. You take a piece of paper, write a one on it, write an eight on it, and stick it in your shoe. And when the recruiter says, are you over 18? Oh, yeah, I'm over 18. It's in a shoe. <laughs> one eight is in a shoe. So anyway, um, so on his military papers, it says he was 18. On the census, well, you can kind of figure out he wasn't that old. He was only 14 when he came. So um, that was his family there. He, could, he did come home. He did fight. He did come home. So he was at the end of the war. And then um, John was in Libby Prison. So that's Libby Prison. It was taken apart after the war and taken to Chicago somehow. And it became a building um, like a mall or um, an industrial place where they made things. They didn't want it to stay down in Richmond because they felt that uh, the South would use that against the North. So they just took it apart or, or took it by rail or, or meals, I don't know, but they carried it up to uh, Chicago and, and now it's gone. So, thank wow, you very thank much. Thank you very much. much. Thanks for the story. So, how this works, it's still got the big piece in the back, it still crosses in the front, but it's got those two long ties that I can then tie in the back, and it stays on, my, on me just like a sweater. So, I can do everything I need to do around the house, but stay warm even though my house doesn't have central heat. You see, during the Civil War, there was a need for surgeons. So, I am a contract surgeon. In other words, I don't hold a rank, but they hired me by the Union Army to help heal the men or take care of the men. Part of my job was to heal the sick, and part of my job was to remove projectiles, this or objects, from the soldier. I have a thing called an inhaler. And what I do is I place it over, this, my assistant places it over his face, and we pour chloroform, not pour it, but drip it on the cloth to put him under so that when I do the operation, 
you will not feel any pain. I am here today as a member of the Living Historians Guild, uh, and I am presenting myself as a member of the 8th Veteran Reserve Corps, the Invalid Corps. Uh, this group guarded prisons on the south side of Chicago when uh, Confederate troops were captured. They were brought up on the Illinois Central Railway and they were uh, put into our prison. It was called Camp Douglas. Uh, we, have, uh, we have some of the things that we would have used in the prison. That's uh, manacles. This is uh, just something to get their attention with. We uh, did have a platform that we built so that people could come and watch the uh, prisoners in the prison. The thing is, once you had paid your dime once and gone up to see the prisoners, you probably didn't want to come back again. So what we did is we put some toys up on top of the platform, and that way when the children uh, were asked by their parents, what do you want to do Sunday after church, they would say, let's go to the prison. So uh, that's the reason that there are toys out here. Lastly, we have uh, texting 19th century style. So uh, that, for example, is what I'll call my son. <laughs> Hi, my name is Marcus Petrella. Hi, Marcus. Hi. Okay. <laughs> and, and so what are you doing here, Marcus? I'm working on coopering a bucket. So I've got, I'm working on making staves right now and jointing them. So I'm trying to get these perfectly smooth. Mm -hmm. So when I drive, when I get all the way around and drive the bands on, it'll hold water. So you use the term coopering. Yes. Uh, talk about what, what that is and uh, what your work is. Coopering is anything that's made with wooden staves. So buckets, barrels, uh, butter churns, anything like that where you have staves of wood mm -hmm. and then held with a band. And just like using a, a bench plane on a bench, mm -hmm. except you're moving your piece of wood. Is that basically a joiner planer, an old fashioned joiner planer? Yeah. Are you defining the angle on that board? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so however many boards divided by 360, basically? Uh, I'm not being that precise right now, I'm just kind of eyeballing the shape as it goes around and refining as I go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, I am standing here with... And I am an Indian from the Civil War era, and I am a guard at Camp Douglas. They didn't have enough guards there uh, to begin with, so they hired some Chippewa Indians from Michigan to be guards, so that's what I am. Great, no kidding. Okay, and you are? Well, hello. Well, I am portraying a colonel of Union Infantry, um, and uh, my friend here mentioned Camp Douglas in Illinois. And uh, so I'm portraying a Colonel Sweet. I think his first name was Thomas. Yeah, Benjamin. Th Benjamin, thank you. Benjamin, yeah. Colonel yeah. Benjamin from, Sweet. Uh, from the Lombard area. He was from Lombard. Yeah. I got to know who I am. <laughs> Colonel Benjamin no, Sweet. No kidding. And do you know that you are on the historic Army Trail Road? Yes. The route of the Black Hawk Indians? That's outstanding. Yes, yeah. yes. I have, I, I gathered that. And I read a little about that in the house over there, the museum. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's very historic to know that here we are over 100 years later on the same trail. But, and so I, I have a good sense of history, and I, I appreciate knowing that. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. and General, General Winfield Scott was yeah. camped just, uh, just down the road, two miles away. Because when I came here, I, I'm from St. Charles, and w well, north of me in Wayne, Illinois, off of 25, Army Trail Road begins. Yeah, uh, yes, Army Trail Road begins, and I think St. Charles Road was actually Army Trail Road for a while. I don't know how it meandered up to here, but I've seen that on an old map. Yeah, that's probably true. Uh, Have to check that out. It's great. Yeah. Well, yeah. Thanks for coming out. Thank you for having us. Okay, for the pumpkin judging contest, we have two categories. The funniest, and the most creative. And uh, we have uh, three judges. Braulio. Braulio from the Edison Fire Protection District. 
Uh, Kayla from Uncle Harry's. And Crystal, the first runner-up for Miss Addison. I actually see that uh, Cookie Monster is missing some cookies. Who took Cookie Monster's cookies? Okay, judges, you have to pick out the funniest okay. and the most creative. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Don't forget the teeny weeny one over here. So judges, take a close look. Okay, who, when, whoever's pumpkins they are, get behind the pumpkin, come on. Get behind your pumpkins, get behind your pumpkin. Get behind your pumpkin. Get behind your pumpkins. While they're behind their pumpkins and the judges are uh, deciding, what is your name? My name is Isabel. Isabel, I saw you in the costume contest. And your name is? Jasmine. Jasmine, I saw you in the contest. You are? Brittany. Okay, now this is Jasmine's pumpkin here. This is Jasmine's. This is Isabel's, right? Isabella. And this is? And I forgot your name, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. And Cookie Monster belongs to who? Eric. What is Eric. that yours? Yeah, but he doesn't. And work. that's Eric, right? Yeah. And that's Eric's the Cookie Monster. Cookies are missing. And this is yours. Mm -hmm. And what do we have here? I can't see it. It's Ben in the ink machine. Oh, okay. And Eric. do we have anybody here for the cafe latte pumpkin? Yeah. We did. Yeah. We us three. You're down here. Uh -huh. You're down here. It's another Eric? Yeah. It's an Eric pumpkin. And a, a three person, four person. Okay. Whenever your judges are ready. You ready? Okay. Okay, so for most creative, we thought that the coffee latte one was... Cafe latte yeah. pumpkin, cafe latte. Where is our trophy for that? Crystal, will you get our trophy for the most creative? Yeah. This is quite cool. Now, wait a minute. Is that a wooden handle or is that a pumpkin piece right it's, here? Uh, breaking off. <laughs> oh, that is cool. All right. Who are we going to give the trophy to? Where's Crystal? I'm right here. Okay. Good job, guys. There you go. That one was a family one. It's a, it's a family pumpkin? Yeah. What's a family's last name so we know? Uh, Fuentes. Fuentes is a family pumpkin. Okay. Now we have one more, and that is the funniest. The funniest. No. Go on. Or it's uh, the one at the very end, uh, the one that's puking out the green stuff. Oh, the, the goo. Yeah. Goo. Let me see what you called it. It's this guy. What did we call this pumpkin? It's a dead pumpkin that got rotten in the inside, uh, and then the insides were coming out. Oh, so we see all the pumpkin seeds coming out. We see his tongue hanging out, and that's all the rotting inside. Yeah. Can I look inside of him? Let's look inside. Ew, he's riding inside too. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. And thank you all very much. I think they need a big hand and a round of applause. Thank you all and have a wonderful, happy, safe Halloween. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Crystal, I don't know about you, but I had a really good time today. Yeah, I did too. I thought the weather was. A little cold, but I think we still made the most of it. I think it was still a lot of fun. And it was. It was a lot of fun. Well, thank you very much for helping me out today. And thank you all for joining us. If you missed this year's Fall Fest, remember, we'll be back with another Fall Fest next year. I'm Lucille Zucchero for Addison Community Television.